Welcome to the channel guys. This is going to be a new series, first for the year and first series I plan on finishing. That uh, sounds bad, but it's true. And it's going to be uh, really $20 or under $20 kits uh, that I'm going to build. Uh, <clears throat> and I'm going to do or try to do and build them fairly basically. Fairly basically. That's a, Yeah. Fairly basic in terms of techniques I'm going to use and the overall look I'm going to go for with them, or the overall finished look, I should say, because it sounds mucho better. -o. Um, that was a big um. As you can see, two kits to me is uh, Bulldog, Walker Bulldog, and Hobby Boss F8F Bearcat. Um, this is a kit that you can get any day of the week at Hobby Lobby. It's actually where I got this one. And it is uh, very cheap. I think it's like $18 before you can use the 40% uh, off coupon or $20 after, before or something. To where you can get this for $15 or less uh, from Hobby Lobby any day. Um, the Bearcat is one that I picked up off of the Scale Model Graveyard on Facebook for a less than twenty dollars and the whole premise I'm going to go for with these builds is trying to stick to twenty dollars or less for everything that I'm going to use on them now of course that isn't a problem with things like filler uh, or glue or cement uh, and paint but with things like airbrushes uh, some of the other tools you, know, you can get very expensive in terms of modeling so I'm going to try and use uh, I want to say cheaper tools but uh, tools that are twenty dollars or less of course my sprue cutters were twenty dollars um, the airbrush I'm going to use uh, which is this point zero airbrush is a twenty dollar airbrush and so the only exception to that is going to be my compressor to run uh, that airbrush. Obviously, I'm not going to go get a $20 compressor. I'm going to use my the Badger compressor that I have. Um, but a compressor is one of those things that when you're first starting out, it's probably going to be the most expensive purchase you're going to make. A good airbrush compressor is going to cost about $60. But if you already have a shop compressor, you can use one of those, no problem. In fact, I used to run... Uh, an old Craftsman pancake compressor for a long time until I got the Badger compressor that I have. The only problem is shop compressors are very loud. Um, so that's another problem. And uh, <clears throat> as far as techniques go, I'm not going to try anything uh, special or crazy with these. It's going to be uh, simple techniques and uh, simple weathering, simple painting, um, which is suited well to the, the, the two kits. Uh, for example, the Bearcat, if you are familiar with uh, Bearcats, uh, they're painted in glossy blue, which doesn't really fade. It chips some, but it doesn't really fade. Um, so the painting of that is going to be very simple uh, in terms of armor. Our painting armor is very simple. Uh, and We're going to do some different techniques with uh, mainly the exhaust, try to get them to look good. Uh, but the whole premise, again, is to stay under twenty dollars for everything uh, for or for each tool used and to see and to show that you don't need to spend a lot of money uh, to get decent looking results now I'm not a great modeler I wouldn't even say I'm a very good modeler um, but it doesn't take a lot of skill to put together uh, a kit now there are some uh, things that we're going to do when it comes time with the Bearcat in terms of uh, sanding seams or filling seams that will need filled in terms of the bulldog there are some holes in the lower hull uh, that will need filled because they you can see them once the kit is together and that will either uh, or pro that will probably involve just cutting some uh, plastic card uh, or plastic sheet to shape to fill those and then uh, some filling and sanding there's some Seams on the front of the hull that will need uh, sanded as well. Uh, the box art's kind of funny on this because the tank is actually backwards for this picture um, because that's where the uh, gun rests in its transport cradle. Um, it's just kind of odd that it's backwards. Um, 
But that's what we're going to do with these two kits. Again, I'm going to use a cheap .0 airbrush uh, and we'll see what uh, results we're going to get with these. So I don't know which kit I'm going to start on first, um, but I'm probably going to film these in bulk. Um, so, another um. So, it'll be sort of sporadic and I don't plan on finishing one before the next one is out, but that may happen, it may not. Um, I also don't know how regular I'll be able to put out these videos. I'm hoping to be able to put them out on a semi-regular basis, but you never know. Uh, time is one of those things that you think you have enough and then something happens and uh, you don't have any more. So. Hopefully uh, this will be a good series. Hopefully I'll finish it. Uh, and uh, like I said, uh, I'm going to try and put out videos on a more regular basis for the channel. I've been sort of neglecting doing that. Part of the reason uh, being editing software. I needed to get new editing software and uh, getting to learn that and to change some graphics and things is uh, time consuming. Uh, especially when you're like me and you're lazy and you don't want to learn new software. So. Thanks. Hopefully the uh, first video in these series will be out fairly soon. Uh, if not, well, think about time again. So, Thanks for watching. This a quick little intro. Hope you guys have a good one.